this is the weekly horoscope for Aries for the week of February 6, 2023. Yes, I'm staying up all night and pulling an all-nighter and doing this. So show your love and support to your girl, Marie, and make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And thank you for everyone who has. I really appreciate the love, energy, and I'm available for readings and natal chart reports and yearly. So check that out in the link in the description box below. So this week, my Rams... Um, let me see, Ceres is in retrograde at this time. Let me see, Vulcan is in retrograde at this time in your fifth house conjunct with the Lilith Moon. So I feel like for some of you here that you could be having some much needed conversations with other people in your life, even possibly putting up boundaries this week because Ceres in retrograde in your seventh house of relationships, forming a cardinal square. So this could be, um, you know, like dealing with baby mama, baby daddy drama at this time and creating those boundaries with that partner and having certain conversations with that partner at this time. Um, you don't want to obligate yourself anymore to certain situations or certain people at this time. So you can be having some much needed conversations with others and the conversations can go well at this time and there could be some kind of mutual understanding for now. Let me see, Jupiter is Queen Cunsing the South Node at this time, and this is going to be in your first and eighth house with this energy. You can be challenging certain belief systems at this time because you have, um, because for some of you, um, this could be you have to touch it and see it in order to believe it. So if it doesn't make sense to you, you're really going to test it or give it a chance or an opportunity, or you're going to be trying to give other people the benefit of the doubt at this time because you don't believe them. So you're going to cut them some slack for now and let them prove be wrong for some of you this is letting go go of old belief systems at this time but you could still kind of be stuck in your ways of thinking with this energy and you may not be trusting certain process or you're not willing to change or you're not ready to make certain changes in your life then on Tuesday the Sun in your 11th house is forming an air trine you can be receiving some much needed good news also this can be a time of thoughts to become things um, for some of you at the um, let me see people that you fought with during mercury and retrograde this could be them coming back into your life at this time and wanting to reconnect with you so letting bygones be bygones for some of you this could be an ex that you broke up with coming back into your life at this time with this energy in order to strengthen your bond with that person if you want that person back i feel like they're you're very protective of your children and supportive of them as well you can be more invested in your children's um what's going on in your children's um, life, education, and educational events, and kind of like participating more with them. Saturn is semi-squaring um, Chiron in the first and 11th house. I feel that for some of you, your walls are really up, okay? And you're like really keeping to yourself at this time. And you're not trying to divulge whatever it is that is bothering you. I feel like like people can like notice that something is bothering you but at the same time you're not saying nothing about it but at the same time you're being reactive during this time period and I feel like it's gonna come out in the worst possible way so you may want to like be careful with that energy or it could be a situation where God forbid somebody breaks up with you at school or something like that and you know it's just like traumatizing so something traumatizing at this time or almost like it can happen where it just makes you feel so vulnerable but at the same time you don't want to be vulnerable to other people okay so and at the same time you don't want to ask other people for help or talk about your problems because you're so prideful so you know let other people in at this time with this energy then on Wednesday in the eighth house um, I'm sorry what happens oh Vesta moves into your first house you can be more invested in your relationships especially family relationships you can be more invested in your focus is on yourself and you can be more self-reliant at this time I feel that you can even be more keeping to yourself and a bit selfish and you can be and it can be a difficult time maintaining a long-term relationship because you're more about your needs your wants and your desires and you know how y'all get when when people are not meeting your needs your wants and desires especially with love relationships so you know again pick and choose your battles i feel 
Your perseverance can lead to great personal achievements. You're self-reliant, self-motivated in your work, sometimes to the exclusion of other people. You have commitments to your ideas and enjoy working on yourself. Um, you have commitment to your independence and have the ability to achieve personal success. You can alienate those close to you so love relationships can suffer. Then on Wednesday, then on the 9th, um, you have a T-square happening with the 1st, 4th, 7th house. For some of you in the 8th and 12th house, so this could be a process of moving at this time for some of you, traveling. If You, you could be receiving some much-needed good news in regards to a loan, or this could be dealing with court at this time. You may not be on speaking terms with certain family members, or you could be fighting with certain family members at this time as well and dealing with child custody battles with this energy. You do have a water trine happening with Venus. So you can feel things very intensely, and you can really get into heated arguments with others when it comes to relationships. Um, for some of you, you can be, God forbid, getting kicked out of the home with this energy, so careful with people, or you may not be on speaking terms with certain people, or this could be dealing with like landlord situations for some of you with this energy, and you could be the landlord as well. So it could be like, sir, as it resonates to you. Uranus is semi-sectiling Juno in the first and second house. Um, new and enjoyable spirit experience experiences can be happening through your social, romantic, and leisure activities shared with your spouse, spouse or significant other. If in a committed relationship has been dull or boring, it may start to pick up momentum now. You might have the urge to shake up things in order to break the monotony, but you will um, likely act with consideration towards your mate's desire. You may derive extra benefits from your marriage or love life if you renew the spirit of cooperation and friendship towards your partner. It's also much easier to solve any problems in the relationship through honesty and affection. Um, Uranus is semi-squaring Vesta in your first and second house. Difficulties may arise in your work-related or personal ambitions. You may want to work, um, you may want to work Ah, you may want your work and career interests to allow you greater deal of freedom, independence, and excitement. Um, rebellious tendencies may also surface now, which add adds to your feelings of restlessness on the job or even at school. You resist any pressure or restraints on work or school in personal projects, and you may refuse to be, to, um, be about the rules, regulations, and schedules. If a work situation is creating unusual internal stress at this time, you may need to give yourself a break from the pressure and demands or, you, or work independently on your job commitments for the time being, okay? Alrighty, let's see what we got. Alrighty, so the first card I come up with is the strength card with this energy. I feel like this is a very tenacious time for you. Again, this could be that Vesta energy that we're seeing here. And so you tend to get a lot of things done during this time period with this energy. The Devil card talks about endings, having the courage to move on from certain situations as well, or stopping certain cycles in your life with this energy, especially toxic cycles with other people at this time and just removing yourself from the situation at this time as well. The Five of Wands, I feel like for some of you here, you can be getting into arguments with other people during this time period as well with this energy. So there could be some endings or you may not be on speaking terms with certain people anymore during this time period as well. So whoever has to leave your life, let them leave your life. The Knight of Cups does bring blessings on to the universe for you this week. The Ten of Coins puts an emphasis on, on money. I feel like you could have been fighting over money during this time period as well, and you two may not have been getting along anyways with this energy. I feel for some of you, this could have been, you could have like walked away from a, a toxic relationship, maybe an addictive relationship with this energy or somebody or you could be dealing with somebody that's stalking you at this time as well and is obsessed with you. The Ace of Wands, I feel like for some of you here, this is taking certain risk at this time with this energy here and stepping out of your comfort zone this week as well. The um, Four of Coins, you can be stuck in your ways of thinking. For some of you, um, you can be dealing with a hoarder. Okay, and this could be kicking out somebody that's a hoarder at this time. All right, so um, yeah, so that and so it's kind of like correlating with like Friday about what's going on on Friday. So this could be dealing with like a hoarder energy here 
as well, okay? Um, for some of you, this can be um, you saving your money at this time with this energy and being a bit more frugal with your money or you're very resourceful at this time when it comes to spending your money and finding deals and making things happen and making a dollar stretch at this time. Even though it's hard to make a dollar stretch, more like $20, okay? For others of you, stay on the right side of the law with this energy here as well. You can be getting yourself, it could be like guilty by association at this time with this energy. I feel like this is a great time for um, like business and investment opportunities that can come your way. There could be also new financial opportunities that can come your way as well. You can be more about your sanity at this time with this energy. So this could be like work and home, work and home, work and home. You could be trying to stay out of the drama. I do feel like as I connect with the energies, I'm hearing that you have a few friends at this time with this energy and that's it. I feel like for some of you, there's like um, there's like monies around you at this time. This could either be business picking up. This could also be dealing with inheritance at this time with this energy. So I feel like that can be coming in this week with this energy. The two of coins burning the candles at both ends of the stick this week as well. Um, I feel also for some of you, you can be delving into certainty with this energy. For others of you, I feel like you really need to make better decisions this week, okay? So be careful with any ultimatums that you give to other people at this time um, with this energy. This may not be the best time to make decisions with this energy. Even It could be a situation where you're just feeling too stuck in a situation, either too stuck in your relationship now because Vesta has entered. So you could be leaving your relationship and then later on you will change your mind and regret your decision. And you know what? I think I saw this for Libra too. So those of you who are like Libra risings, sun and Libras, I would really be careful because I feel like at this time you could be your own worst enemy when it comes to your relationships, okay? So I wouldn't really, I would wait until this energy transpires. I would wait till like the end of February and see if you still feel like this. If you still feel like this, then leave. But for some of you here, you could, it could just be just the planets affecting you. Sometimes the planets affect us and we run with the planets um, and we make our choices. So be careful with your choices that you make, okay? The Seven of Cups, I see thoughts of future, future, future at this time with this energy. So keep your feet planted um, during this time period as well. I feel like for some of you, this could be working on trust issues. There could be a need to connect um, with family during this time period as well. So other, some of you could be reaching out to family during this time period. The Eight of Coins, you're a perfectionist when it comes to career. You're not so quick to make decisions at this time I feel like you could be focusing on starting a new business endeavor or turning a hobby into a money-making opportunity for yourself with this energy as well the eight of cups I feel like you're over a situation and you're ready to walk away from a situation so this could be dealing with love relationships at this time and you could be just done with it and just wanting to walk away um, so I feel that you may regret your decision later on. So pick and choose your battles. Do what you want to do. Um, this is the direction that I see the map going in your life at this time. If you would like a reading with me, check out um, my consultation page in the video um, below this video um, to see if you would like a reading. Um, I do see you learning new technology as well with this energy here. This is a great time for studying. For some of you, you could be going back to school. You can be getting paid to go back to school for your career with this energy as well. They could be paying you for this. The two of wands, I feel like this could be brand new beginnings happening. The energy begins to move forward. For some of you, this is seeking more job satisfaction, even if it means less pay with this energy or maybe those of you who are 50 and older you're not looking for anything like crazy you just want something that's like easy so then that you can have your you, you don't want to be confined to your job at this time you know you want more freedom to yourself for some of you not all of you okay um the five of swords i feel for some of you here this is dealing with finding the truth about a dark secret at this time so secrets can be revealed or you could be a whistleblower at work, especially when it comes to certain um, practices that they're not supposed to be doing at this time. The six of coins, again, lots of coin cards here, so not a lot happening for you. I feel like for some of you here, this could be dealing with money worries at this time. So follow your bliss and the money will flow. 
is the message there with this energy. I feel like this is a time for learning with this energy and updating yourself with the latest and greatest in technology um, this week as well. I feel for some of you, of course, you could be the jack of all trades, investing more time into your hobbies this week as well. The moon card, I feel with this energy here that this could be, again, truth being revealed with this energy or this could be even self-realizations coming up for you. The Four of Swords, I feel you can be coming up with money-making ideas. I do see get-rich-quick schemes happening for you this week. I do see you being, I do feel like you're, you're feeling stuck in a situation or feeling stuck in a relationship at this time with this energy as well. The King of Swords, I see money worries, but the King is like, why are you worrying about your money? Okay, so don't go into that lack energy here this week because it could be more in your head than it is in your reality at this time alrighty it could be that series and retrograde making you obsessed and worried about things that are out of your control at this time and you're just kind of like freaking out about that alrighty I feel like this is a great time for those of you that deal with digital art or web designers with this energy so anything to do with technology at this time you benefit through or you could be making money this week I feel like this is a great time for salespeople for some of you you could be working on your bachelors with this energy as well so I feel like this is a beautiful time for that and kind of throwing yourself into your into your work or into your schooling during this time period as well the king of wands i feel for some of you here that you can be dealing with two men in your life one is kind of stuck in his ways of thinking and then the other one is an earth sign and is a bit more grounded with this energy so for some of you you may have options when it comes to love for others of you you benefit through the men in your life at this time being protective of you or making things happen for you so if you're stuck anywhere in your life at this time um, ask for help with the men in your life and they tend to come through for you and they tend to make things happen for you this week the nine of swords I see depression with this energy okay um, I feel like you can be dealing with a pathological liar so I would be careful what you get talked into to this week as well because it may not be legal and it can get you in trouble the world card i do see the world getting um working in your favor i do see traveling coming up for some of you for some of you i feel like you know i feel like you need to be careful i feel like for some of you ooh, it's like not good energy okay you're playing with some dirty money so i would be careful with this energy okay um I feel like for some of you here, this is a great time for those of you in media and social media. Great time for auditions during this time period as well. I feel like for some of you that this is a great time for your creativity with this energy as well. Um, the Ten of Swords starting over in certain areas of your life. This is certain things may no longer apply in your life at this time. The Star card manifesting what you want at this time. This is dreams coming true. This is hopes and wishes. This is recommitting yourself to your goals. The Two of Swords, somebody could be crush, crushing on you at this time. Not the best time to make impulsive decisions this week with this energy. You can be more quiet into yourself for some of you, and this could be more focusing on home and family and being invested in other people's drama. The Two of Cups, yeah, you're invested in other people's drama at this time. You can be reconnecting with somebody from your past with this energy, possible love interest here with this energy as well. And the Knight of Wands, I feel like between you two, there's a significant age difference between you two. Either this person is younger than you, um, like 10 years younger than you, or 7 to 8 years younger than you, is what I'm seeing. I love you, my Rams. Show your love and support to your girl, Marie, by liking, subscribing, and sharing. Kisses.